Well, this noon we are talking wellness. Are you stressed out? Stress can really affect your health. Here to talk about that is Dr. Do Dane Donahue of Eight Weeks to Wellness. All right, Doc, I think we're all stressed in one way or another. So how do we begin to cope with that? Well, the first thing I want people to realize is that research shows that 70% of all doctor's visits are directly or indirectly related to stress. So stress is a huge topic to talk about. And the thing about stress is it's really a double-edged sword because on one hand, stress is positive or we wouldn't have it. And back in primitive times, we are either being hunted did or we were hunting and so we had the stress response to enable us to liberate large amount of energy at one time so that we can either fight or flee so that we could survive. The problem today is that we don't have many physical threats anymore. We have a lot of perceived threats and the body doesn't know the difference between a perceived threat and an actual threat. So something like a bill to pay that you don't have the money for, or a right. fight with your spouse, uh -huh. or a boss that you don't get along with. These stresses don't last a short period of time, they last a long time and that impact on the body is huge because it tends to rob energy from our immune system and our digestive system and it's why so many people are on drugs for digestion and immunity. Okay, so how, how do we begin the process of gauging our stress level? Well, there's new technology and this is something that we use in our office. It's called heart rate va variability. And it's the same technology that they use for the lie detector, except we don't ask our patients questions. But what it does is it looks inside the body, looks under the hood at things like your heart rate, your respiratory rate, how much you're sweating, so that we can see how is your body reacting to stress and are you under stress? Yeah, you know, I remember taking a stress test at one point and it was really right after doing a broadcast. And actually it became for me positive stress sure. because of loving what it is that I do. Absolutely. But there, are, but there are a lot of times that there are other stressors and we need to really get a handle on that. So you have kind of a plan about how people should handle their stress. So let's take a look at this graphic and then explain these different things. So first is movement-based exercise. What do you mean by that? Well, first of all, the nervous system is what, remember, it's that fight or flight system. We call it the sympathetic nervous system, right? It's the gas pedal. It's not meant to be turned on for a long period of time, but your brain, 50% of your brain, Pat, is devoted to movement. So when we're sitting in these chairs and most people have become sedentary, we're not using our brain. And the best thing we could do to cope with stress when we liberate all this energy is to use it, not to let it stew. We're mm -hmm. stewing in our own juices and that's why so many people have a response to stress, now, negative response. Well, we also need really good sleep habits. And so you think seven and a half, eight hours a night, if that's possible? Yeah, and the key is, is that when we're sleeping, we're not under stress. You know, that sympathetic system is turned off when we go to sleep. So there's no threats unless your kids are kicking you in bed. There's no <laughs> threats in, in when you're sleeping. So you turn that system off. Okay, and then also we have meditation, breathing, or prayer. Right. So it's really about that calming down and making that conscious effort to uh, center again. Yeah, and we say, are you mindful or are you mindful? Is your mind full of mm -hmm. stuff or are you mindful to think about your stress? You know, what potential threats are there so that you can gauge so you don't blow up or stress doesn't negatively affect your body? You've got to be mindful and think about what you're thinking about. You always have really great advice, really great tips. Thank you so much, Dr. Dan. Always a pleasure. My pleasure. Well, so for more on stress and eight weeks to wellness, a really terrific program in the Philadelphia area, you can go to cbsphilly.com and click on to talk Philly. Now, let's check the forecast with Carol.